Just a quick word before this video starts. This world was created by these four people on the screen who helped me a lot, a lot, a lot in this making of Wizard of Oz. So, props to them. This is all made in vanilla Minecraft in two days. No, we did not cheat off of any worlds. We made it to our own perspective. So, yeah, hope you enjoy. Skip, skip right to the video. Welcome to the house tour. This is Dorothy's house. This is where you spawn in. There's got two beds, bookshelves, so it's pretty neat, right? Um, this room over here, it's got the bookshelves, the nice little table, jukebox, and everything else. As you enter the kitchen, <laughs> you'll enter the kitchen, and you'll see it's just a normal kitchen. Everything's a little like the furnace, smoker, sink, it's kind of normal. Well, when you flick the lever, you get picked up by a tornado. The lights turn out, everything goes dark, and it becomes night. The tornado's spinning around faster and faster, making everything move. And then, finally, it stops. Now, we'll exit the house, see what happened. Boom, much can land. It's raining in Munchkin Land right now, so let's fix that real quick. All right, so here's Munchkin Land. Took us a day to build. It's got hills in the back, trees, houses, everything you need for a little Munchkin Land. It's got a little pond with a nice little bridge, lamp posts, everything you'll need. This is the yellow brick road and the red brick road. The red brick road goes that way, yellow brick is this way. So let's start following the yellow brick road. As you start to walk past the Elbert Grove, people are like, hey, you killed the Wicked Witch of the West. So, take your shoes. There are three red slippers. Yeah. Moose Panther decided to join me on this little tour. So yeah, let's start following the Elbert Grove. So as you walk along, there's tall grass, trees along your way, and everything you'll need for a nice little setting. There's a bridge that you go over, it's over a little lake that follows you along the way. <clears throat> now as you reach the first stop, this is where uh, Dorothy meets the Scarecrow. When you step on the pressure plate, you'll be teleported up to get a better view of it. So yeah, here's the Scarecrow. It took me a day to build, no, it took me about an hour. I think it turned out really well with the hay coming out of it, the shoes, everything, the color's perfect. Alright, now that we're back on the yellow brick road, we will be entering the birch forest soon. This is where they find the Tin Man. The Tin Man has a little cottage across from where he is, and the Wicked Witch of the West comes on top of it and throws a fireball at the Scarecrow, which we didn't add, but it's a cool little feature. There's a little birch overhang, and here's the Tin Man's house. He's got a nice little birch rack of wood, and he's got the witch stuck on top of his house, a hay thatch roof. Here's his little house. It's nice, nothing special. As you go up, you get a better view of them. So here's our Tin Man. I could have made him better, but I feel like he turned out for the size he was going to be. He was going to be, I think he was all right. So yeah, there's his little shoes. I could have made him a little wider. He's got his axe, buttons. Looks pretty nice. So as you walk along, you get thrown at with snowballs. Since there's no way to throw apples at you. And Moose Panther just decides to be hit by a bunch of them. Then, you went to the dark forest. This is where the lion is. The lion, I think, turned the best, turned out the best out of all the things I made. Little torches, it adds a little, a great little setting to it. So it turns day as you can come up here, and you get a great view of the lion. So here it is, from his head, toes to his head to his tail, 
He turned out perfectly. I really like his bow and his mane. Oh no, we're stuck. So now we're back down, and we gotta head this way, Moose Panther. It's this way. This way. <laughs> Alright. So you keep going, and this is the view that you always love. The Emerald City. Keep walking, and we'll go through the poppy forest to enter the Emerald City. And this Emerald City took the four of us a lot of time, but it ended out perfectly. The great little setting. I have no idea where Moose, oh, there he is. So yeah, there's some doors that open and close. But you walk in, and this is about it. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk but, oh. with you <laughs> This is the Emerald City that we built. We think it looks really nice. And that's it for the tour. So follow me for a night view of Emerald City, and we'll get on out of here. So yeah, this is our Wizard of Oz. We'll be doing more uh, like builds like this. And yeah, so if you really like the video, like it, subscribe, comment, do whatever you like, but leave us some ideas to do for our next building and we might do them. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. We finished. Munchkin Town. Oh yeah, guys. Plan we did. It. How yeah. Long did it take? <laughs> Not too long. Um, it took maybe an hour and a half. Um, but yeah, so it's about done. Uh, Lion Michael changed his name to Flying Michael and looks like a monkey. But we got everything we need in Munchkinville, town, country, land, whatever. And yeah, so Yellow Brick Road. We're gonna start it up and get to the scarecrow. Be My back with you. Family is still here. Sorry. Be back with you when the scarecrow's done. Peace. I got both.